Hello, in this Java programming video, we are going to take a look at enums or, you know, enumerations as they are fully called. So an enum is, you know, extremely simple. It's a way that it, it's a data structure, it's a data type that allows you to group a bunch of sort of keywords together, you know, our own custom keywords, and they're assigned a integer value, either default or we can assign one ourselves. So if we have a look, you can, if you, you want to implement it sort of outside, you'll need to be in its own class. We'll just do it inside here. So, do public enum, and then the name of your enum. So, I'm going to put, let me put, I don't know, animals. And now in here, you put your animal. So, if you put dog, and then I put cat, cow, Lion, so, so that'll do. That'll be fine. And if we do system dot out dot print ln, we can print out one of the values. So you do animals dot. Um, let's just say if we do dog. Let's run it and see what we get. So we get dog. So it's literally just printed out dog. So you know behind the scenes, you'll have some sort of value assigned to it, as it does in many other languages. But what we want to, what you can do with this is, it's great for in if statements or when you're referring to something. So instead of, you know, if you have an if statement and the user can input something, and based on the input, your let's say choose a dog, cat, cow, or like character, for example, maybe some sort of video game. Instead of that, you could do something like if, you know, if I just do int i equals to not I, so you would create animals, animals, let's say if I call it A, like so, you could just do if A equals animals dot dog, okay, we need to assign something to it, <coughs> Ooh, bless myself, animals dot dog, there we go. So this will you know run as true. So system that out dot println. I'll put true. And if I were to put this as cat, nothing should actually print out because cat does not equal dog in the enumerated animals data. So honestly, there's I want to say there's much more to it than that. If you want to go a step further, you can sort of you know add a method potentially in the enum as well you can assign integer values that's a little bit extra and i will actually leave that for you to try and figure out yourself if you need any help feel free to reach out very similar to what we've done in the previous videos thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in your next awesome java tutorial